Hey viewers, back at it again doing another weekend project. Today we're going to do something simple, easy, and fixable. We're going to change the radiator on this 2007 Chevy Silverado. Uh, this is a 5.3 liter. Uh, I believe it's the same for the 4.8 uh, and 6.0. Uh, pretty easy job, guys. Just make sure you have a really nice uh, big catch pan to catch all that coolant that we're going to take out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to make this job easy for us, um, we, we are going to have to remove the uh, air intake components. We're going to go ahead and remove the uh, air intake box and um, the actual rest of the intake. So pretty easy. You're just going to go ahead and use a, a flathead screwdriver and you're going to go ahead and I believe I think this Okay, here we go. This wasn't tying. So we're going to go ahead and loosen this bad boy up right here. And we're also going to loosen up this one here. And we're also going to unclip the air mass connector. Just push on these tabs and take them out like so. And I believe once you once you um, go ahead and loosen this one up as well, just go ahead and just try this out like so. And then this one, this one has like a little um, air vent. Uh, I, I find it more easier to come here at the bottom. And just pry this out like so and then we're gonna go ahead and pry this out like so and just push this just be very careful guys sometimes these are very brittle and we're just gonna go ahead and put them here on the side and then for the intake box all you have to do is just push it upwards there, there's some little plastic um, retainers at the bottom. So let me go. These are the plastic clips retainers there that go in here and here. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. All right. So now that's going to give us a little bit more room um, so that we can go ahead and continue removing some components. So let's go into the next step, guys. Okay, so the next step, we're going to go ahead and remove um, the bracket. There's uh, two 10 millimeter uh, bracket bolts uh, that's holding, uh, I believe this is a transmission and cooler line. Uh, so this is one of the uh, 10 millimeter bolts. And here at the bottom, it's another uh, 10 millimeter uh, right here um, bolt that we're going to go ahead and take off. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And then the one. And then this one here at the bottom as well. And we're just going to go ahead and remove the bracket. And these bolts are not going to come off. Uh, they're basically uh, held on by... This one will come off right here this one right here you have this little clip that's holding in place so just make sure that you put these aside and don't lose them okay so once you remove the two 10 millimeter um, bolts that are holding the transmission and cooler line brackets we're just going to go ahead and just push the bracket downwards so that way it doesn't interfere with the next step so the next step we're gonna go ahead and remove the fan um, pretty easy job guys 
uh, all you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just uh, pull uh, two connectors one and two and the way you pull them out uh, you remove the harness you push uh, these two this tab push it with your fingers and just pull it out like so the same way with this one just push this tab and then push it out all right so let's go ahead and get this these connectors out of the way like so and then next step we're going to go ahead and remove uh, these are 13 two 13 millimeter uh, bolts one here that's holding on the fan and another one up here all right so let me go ahead and uh, get that uh, started all right so again 13 13 millimeter uh, bolts we're going to remove and then the other one over here they're both the same size guys so you're going to have to worry about mixing them um, and then once you have those two 13 millimeter bolts uh, pay, pay close attention to there are some like a little hinge that the uh, fan actually sits on when you install it back there's two one there and another one right there I don't know if you guys can see that right there so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, there's this other clip here that's connected to the upper radiator hose. Uh, hose. You're just going to go ahead and pry that out. It's just a small clip like this. And we're just going to get this out of the way like so. And we're going to go ahead and maneuver the fan uh, uh, out of the this so the way you do it you just push up okay so the way we remove this we're gonna go ahead and push up put your hand on this side and you're gonna see once I push up the little hinges that I was talking about they're gonna go ahead and unfree there you go the fan and then we're gonna go on this side and the same thing I'm just gonna go ahead and hold it here and push up it's gonna hinge itself from there and now we're ready to remove the fan now you are going to have to angle it a certain way when you take it out um, my recommendation is try to angle it tilt it this way see if I can do it one hand there you go so let me get this out of the way here okay so now as you can see we have more room to remove the radiator so let's go ahead and okay so the next step we're going to go ahead and drain the radiator coolant uh, from this radiator so you have two options if your radiator uh, has a peacock you could go ahead and uh, open up the, the peacock valve here and you could drain your coolant this way um for some reason the Silverado if I go ahead and uh, open it it's gonna drain but it's gonna sp spill all over here and it's gonna take a long time for this to drain where another option is you could go ahead and um, uh, remove this lower radiator clamp that's here uh, and then take out the uh, the hose and then the whole radiator fluid coolant will drain here as well or you have the option to just uh, take it out from here too uh, uh, squeeze this uh, radiator clamp pull it out and then go ahead and do it um, and then once you have the radiator off you could remove this one whatever is easier for you guys um, to be honest with you for me it doesn't really matter as much 
Um, all I, I care about is that I have a huge catch pan that's going to go ahead and catch the coolant so that way it doesn't spill on my driveway. And what I'm going to do, if you happen to have, if you happen to have uh, access to buying one of these um, tools, um, it, you can actually make your job easier by So just to give you guys an idea what I'm doing, um, I'm using this tool. I'm going to do this here at, on the lower radiator holes, but kind of give you an idea. This tool is going to go over the clamp like so, and then I'm going to squeeze it on this side, and that's going to go ahead and compress the clamp, and I'm going to go ahead and um, allow me to remove that. So I'm basically going to do that just because it's going to spill out faster, and I'm pressed for time, and this customer wants this truck right away. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that real quick. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, put this tool in place and then we'll go to the next step. So this is what I'm talking about guys. I went and go ahead and put that tool in place and I already pinching the clamp. I'm just going to go ahead and pry the clamp out. Make sure you have your catch pan underneath your vehicle because this bad boy is going to go ahead and start um, spilling everywhere all right so i'm gonna do that real quick and there's my catch pan underneath the vehicle as you guys can see i just prefer this method faster because if i would drain the peacock it's going to take 10-15 uh, minutes and this is literally uh, going to take about a minute to drain enough coolant uh, for me to continue with the next step pretty cool tool to have guys if you have uh, a chance get these at Amazon they're like maybe 10 15 bucks I have this for almost 10 years and um, it's giving me really really good uh, time off my job so I'm just gonna leave this here for now so when I install the the other um, radiator is going to be ready for me to install it back. All right. All right. So while the radiator is draining, we're going to continue to the next step. We're going to start removing some. Uh, we're going to remove the re uh, coolant reservoir uh, hose. Uh, basically, it's right here. You could just use some uh, pliers, whatever you have, to your uh, in your toolbox just kind of pry this off like so and then there's going to be another one here we're going to do the same thing go ahead and um, gingerly remove this this hose here just be careful when you are taking things out because depending how how long this has been here Kind of get out of the way like so and then we have the upper radiator hose as well they're going to go ahead and remove so go ahead and do that as well luckily these are these are here on the top easily to get to but sometimes luck is not on our side and you know we have to maneuver as best as we can so let me go ahead and take that out with two hands and then we'll come back guys and also I'm gonna take this one out okay guys so the next step we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, the transmission and cooler lines pretty pretty easy job guys all you need is a 90 degree angle pick um, you don't really need any special tools for this. Let me guys give you guys some lighting here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So the way it works is that there's this little rubber cap that's that's uh, protecting. There's like a small little clip here. Let me see if I give you guys a close up here. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see this. 
so there is this this little clip in here with the pick you're just going to go ahead and remove the clip just be careful not to lose it because it's going to snap off like so once it's off like that you're just going to go ahead and try to take it out like so there we go so you guys can see and then all you're going to do you're going to go ahead and pull this out so you're going to do this for the top and you're going to do this for the bottom as well so make sure you don't lose these clips sometimes if they're small and they'll fly out so again let's see if I can give you guys some lighting down here you guys can see that I'm just putting my my um, my 90 degree pick there see I got this one already just pushing it up oh there you go see what I'm talking about that it flew out so now I'm gonna have to dig it out of that coolant um, res uh, coolant uh, catch pan there so let me go ahead and get that and then we'll continue to the next step all right guys so now that we remove those little clips we're gonna go ahead and take these off we're just gonna pull this off and this off so let me go ahead and do that real quick um, bear with me all right I'm just gonna go ahead and put this little clip here that I normally use all right so I can that way I don't lose any or drip anything just keep in mind that once you remove these, um, some transmission fluid will come out. So if you have a catch pan catching the coolant, you can remove it. Um, so that way it doesn't, if you're going to re reuse the same coolant, um, I'm just going to use new coolant on this vehicle. Um, but don't forget you have to top off um, the transmission, whatever you lost, you're going to have to go ahead and, you know, um, add it as well. So let me go ahead and remove this one real quick. all right so now that we have that um, remove the next step we're gonna go ahead and uh, and which is a, which is a final step we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, the radiator is basically held on by 13 millimeter uh, 13, two, two 13 millimeter bolts one here and one there so let's go remove that those two confuse them because they're very similar to the fan ones and then once you completely remove um, those two 13 millimeter bolts all you're gonna do you're just gonna go ahead and uh, push it push the radiator outwards like this and then you're gonna go ahead and push it push it up if you do it one hand all right there we go Let's go ahead and gingerly grab the radiator and this is what the radiator looks like so we are gonna have to do a couple things we're gonna transfer uh, we're gonna remove this rubber garment and we're going to put it on the new radiator you just pop it off like this so it's going to be two one on this side one on this side and this is a little 
uh, peacock that I was talking about, you could take it off in case you want to do it that way. And we're also going to remove the top uh, rubber garments. Basically, you just kind of have to pry it out. Let's see if I can show you. You can use a uh, screwdriver or whatever you have to pry it out. It's rubbery, so we're going to have to remove these. So I'm going to have to get a, a screwdriver to kind of pry it out of here. Let's see if I can do it show you guys. Pretty easy. Just kind of have to... Uh, Trying to do it with with uh, one hand. Let me see if I can do two hands. There you go. Once you hit it with the screwdriver here, you could just kind of pry it out like this, and you could do the same thing on this one as well. There you have it. So don't forget to um, transfer these to the new radiator. Um, and then everything else, guys, goes uh, in reverse order. Um, this is a good time to check your hoses. Make sure they're, they're nice and flexible. If they're hard and brittle, go ahead and change them out. And according to uh, GM, um, your coolant has about... 15.9 liters that evens out to about four gallons of coolant that you want to go ahead and uh, top off and uh, don't forget to if you lose some transmission um, uh, fluid don't don't, uh, don't forget to top it off and very very important guys don't use any type of transmission to top it off your vehicle has a specific type of um, a fluid that you have to top it off um, this is actually the I'm sorry this is actually the the oil engine oil but I believe G, uh, GM only only for this type of engine you have to put the is it Dex uh, let me see. there you go I don't know if you can see that You have to use uh, Dex Dex Six. I think you could Dextron Six right there. I don't know if that's able to focus. Um, so use only Dex Dextron Six transmission fluid. Do not use the multi vehicle. Trust me, it will cause your transmission to fail early and uh, also only use dex cool uh, to uh, according to GM and I believe that's the orange looking one uh, remember dex cool all right guys hopefully uh, this helped you out again put everything back in reverse order like we took it off uh, if you like this video thumbs up subscribe uh, have a blessed day guys